Okay. Welcome so we're, back. We're, we're going to be talking about life and balance today. We're going to be, this is a really sort of a leading edge subject yes, for a lot of is. people. Uh, because again, in the, in the normal doctor world, you go in and get blood work for all kinds of stuff like that. But most people don't think of the naturopaths doing testing right. for all kinds of different things. And the reality is, generally, chiropractic doctors do, the kind of testing they do is usually better for you. You know, it's, it's going to be more finite. It's mm -hmm. going to be very clear on what's going on. You know, um, when you go to a doctor, usually you're going to get a CBC. You know, it's, right. it's a regular blood test you're going to get. You're going to get it with Complete blood count for you guys. Exactly. Here, you know, uh, complete blood count. Window. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. So complete blood count. You're going to get that information, and you're going to know where perhaps your uh, TSH is, or right. maybe your A1C is something right. you've heard about if you're well, diabetic. Maybe if you're getting close to diabetes, right. Right. So, I mean, there's some very key points since they monitor through that. What we do is we take it a step deeper into the body. We take a look, you know, we're going to talk about macro and micronutrient testing today. And that's something that we do and it looks at all the aspects of how your body is operating and handling digestion and actually using or utilization of macro and micronutrients. So we're going to delve into that real deep. I want to make sure that I announced that uh, we're now in October. Yes. So it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So yes. that's a big deal. And in case you didn't know, it's also Chiropractic Awareness Month. So yes. <laughs> so we've got two big celebrations going on. Yeah, yeah. We really do. Yeah. You know, and, and for Chiropractic Awareness Month, you know, one of the things you definitely, if you haven't had a chance to come into the office, um, get that free time trial. Yeah. It's going to tell you a lot about your body. It's gonna, we're going to be able to and show the, you. And the free word. If you didn't hear the yeah. free word. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the, which is the, oh, my goodness, right? you got to grab that. But it's, it's a great value here because you're going to see specifically because I'm going to sit down with you and I'll read it with you and I'll show you how your body is functioning through your nervous system. And in the last show, we, we made the big announcement about the new the the, the Metatherm, yeah. yeah. So yes. that, tell them a little bit about that because I think that's an extremely important thing, especially since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It, it's cool. You know, when, when we talk about when we're treating people, we want to know the specifics. We want to get to the details. What is going on? What is the root cause of why I have a problem? And one of the things for breast cancer awareness is they do screening and they do mammograms and we know that the changes are coming to the standards of care where before they were starting at 30 and they were monitoring from 30 right. on and they're kicking that back up to 50 right. and so because they're finding that there's, there's some issues with all that radiation. Right, the radiation is not good for your breasts. Right, and so when you take a look at that what is going to fill that gap? Well, we've taken care of that for you. Metatherm is, is now what we're calling, you know, that's it's the new gold standard of breast screening for pre-screening and for, you know, preventative measures. And when we take a look at that, this thing looks at the pathology right. in the tissue. And to compare that to what we're talking about, like with a mammogram, mammograms, what you're going to see is you're going to see eight years it takes to, for a tumor to develop. So it's, you're going to have that issue for eight years before you're going to see it right. in that diagnostic tool. Where this can come in, and we have some testimonies where individuals have caught it within a year of development because right. there's a physiological, pathological change right. in you the structure. You can actually see the, the yes. different, you know, colors. You can. In, in, the, in the camera. You can. And, so and, a different heat of right. the body. And the great thing is, is with this system here in Jacksonville, we're not the actual individuals that are reading it. It's going to be just like you're right. used to with the MRIs you've right. had or x-rays. This actually, when you get scanned in our office, it's going to go to 13 different medical doctors that are thermographic radiologists yeah. that have over 75 years of history right. to look at this stuff, and we're going to get a report back, and we'll know specifically the steps we need to take going forward right. to do that. And so that's a wonderful opportunity. And, and it's not just for... For breast cancer stuff, I mean, this this tool can be used for all kinds of really cool stuff. It Soft can. tissue. Soft tissue. Yeah. You know, if I have an individual that's coming in with back pain, I can actually do a thermography of the back, and I can determine specifically. Yeah. This is a big deal for yeah. uh, for the lawyers out there that if you have a client that, you know, they got soft tissue pain, and the doctor's saying, I can't find anything. Right. This is we a can, tool. We can, uh, this oh. is a tool you want to use because we can tell you specifically, yeah. is it a muscle? Is it a nervous tissue? What is going on in the body? And now you know that you know. The great thing is that gives us preciseness in our protocols to make sure that we can be very effective and very efficient. So make sure you give them the phone number. If, if you want to check out some of these things, yes. you're going to go to vibrantlifehealthcenter.com. You could look at the, the URL there right on the bottom of the, the screen. 
And I also give them the phone number. Yeah, if you call 904-683-8177, just let us know what you're interested in. We will definitely get you scheduled. We'll get you into the realm of where you can understand all the different services that we provide to take your health to that next level. And make sure you get that free Titron scan. That's really cool. Yes. Um, so let's talk a little bit about nutrient. You know, what's the big deal? I mean, I take a multivitamin every day. I do love I need that you this, said that. Do I need this nutrient scan thingy or whatever? You know, that's a great question. And a lot of people, why do you take a multivitamin? You take a multivitamin because you're you're feeling like there's a possibility you're deficient. Right. I'm not getting enough right? of my food, so it's sort of like cheap insurance. Right. Maybe. I call it shotgun. <laughs> I call it shotgun insurance. Right. I'm going to throw everything in the body, and right. it's going to figure it out, right? right? And then it's going to take care of something. And uh, and that's really what this is all about. Right. How do you know that you know you're one of the your right true stuff, right. deficiencies and you're taking the things that are going to help your body fix that true deficiency so you can take care of that? Because a lot of people don't connect. It. If you have a deficiency, you grab a multivitamin, you take a multivitamin. The problem is, is that there's a lot of things in that multivitamin you don't have any deficiency in. Yeah. So now you've created an abundance yeah. in the An body. extra stuff that extra your body's got to deal with. It. Exactly. So you've actually created the same problem looking at it the other side of the scale that right. your body has to figure out, what am I going to do with this? How am I going to clean it out of the body? That's what all that yellow stuff is that's coming out of you after you, <laughs> after you suck down the yeah. vitamin. <laughs> so, so when you take a look at that, that's just more wear and tear in the body too. So you want to make sure that everything you're doing when it comes to the steps in the health plan that you're going to make, whether it's supplementation, nutrition, diet, you want to know that you know what is your body's true challenges and what is the strategy yeah, to go through. I, I remember uh, I would tell the doctor, you know, why do I take supplements? He said, well, supplements don't work. Well, the reality is supplements do work. You just have to know which supplements you, you really got to have. That's, exactly. that's the real issue. So in most cases, they don't ever test for any of that, even though they've been tested around for a little while, mm -hmm. but they just wouldn't test for that. And, and right. they also used to be extremely expensive. Yes, and it's the not price, that, the it's price not has that come expensive. Down, right? It has come yeah. down a lot. Some insurances are involved in it, so they'll even your insurance can cover some of that stuff. So it's really amazing an opportunity to take a look and see what's happening in my body, right. what's going on, and, and the things that this covers with all the vitamins and all the minerals, yeah. and then it also even comes through and it looks at different ratios of, of um, um, looking at your spectrox, which is an, 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 an anti-oxidation system in your body. Yeah. How well is it cleaning? How well is your liver functioning? We can look at all those types of things. It can look at your immune system. What's the status of it? What's the, yeah. you know. The, I mean, I look at it from the point of view, people don't really understand because regular medicine has been treating everybody sort of the same for so yes. long. But the reality is the biodiversity amongst humans is pretty wide. I mean, a simple thing is just blood type. Yes. There's four of them, yes. at least. And then there's actually many, many sub-blood Sub types of, the, of those. Yes. And that's just one thing. So we're not yes. even talking about race differences or anything oh, like that no. stuff. And then you get into a whole bunch of other factors that have nothing to do with necessarily right. your biology. Right. So I, in your article, you talk about you know, absorption differences. Well, there's yes. a big difference in absorption between me being 62 and me being 29. Ex there's I mean, a huge <laughs> difference. There's a huge difference in what your body needs. There's and a huge and what your body can do with it. My son is 19. Exactly. He can eat two pizzas and he don't get any weight, okay? <laughs> I eat two slices, you know, and I gain a bunch of weight. <laughs> yes. So absorption is a big deal. It is a huge deal. And it's deal. huge. And it's different between men and women. It is I different. Mean, and, then, and then there's gender differences. Yes. Which we didn't really talk about in the article. But again, right. there are big gender differences. For yes. example, women generally have a much slower digestive tract. Right. So you, they eat food, and then it takes them twice as long for, exactly. the, for the food to go through. Whereas men, they eat it, and then they're like dogs. They go every three blocks. You know? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, and then they're eating again. So, yeah. you know, and that's really what it's about. The bioindividuality is what this whole testing system system is about. Is what is going to happen truly in your body? What are the micronutrients? What are the macronutrients? What are things happening in the body that are not optimal? And when you can do that, because everybody's bioindividuality, yeah. everybody is. You know, if, if you want to talk about that, there's no one that's the same out there. Right. Everybody's different, and how your body metabolizes something you eat is different than mine. How you're metabolizing. A supplement that goes into your body will act differently in mind than it will be yours. Um, and that's really so, what you have. So knowing that can make a big deal in you improving the plan for your life. So we're talking about life and balance. If you right. want to have a balanced life, you've got to really have some kind of realistic measuring stick yes. that helps you understand what improves your life right. or what doesn't improve your life. And that's what right. most people don't do. They're just sort of guessing. They are. They go out and buy the yep. multivitamin. Yeah, it's one a day. Eh. 
you know, yeah. and it and it doesn't do anything, and they no. or or it does something and they don't know. Right. So there are other things that can be a big deal, like your lifestyle. Your lifestyle is a huge you're issue as you go through that. You know, you, whether you're you living eat right, you know, all those other kinds of things. Right. You exercise, stretch, stretch, exercise. You know, those are big types of things. You know, if somebody's in a very stressful environment at work and they're going through a process, you know, your body's going to metabolize a lot differently when it's under stress than when it's actually under a relaxed state. And so what you're doing to get, what you're doing outside of work to to get your body to relax, you know, how you de-stress yourself, those are all big things. And those are my yoga fans out there, you know, you get a little edge on us. Yeah, there you go, right? (laughs) And, and there's a lot of things, you know, I always tell my patients, one of the things that every time a patient comes in the, in the office, I always talk to them about, what do you enjoy doing? What is it? And then I'll always, and you, I don't know if you've ever connected this, but I'll always say, hey, make sure you're doing some of that this week. You know, or I'll ask, hey, the weekend's coming up, what do you have planned this weekend? You're going to do some of this? And I'll suggest it. And to make sure that they're doing things that are going to really relax the body and give the body time to heal and refresh because that's critical. One of the reasons I do a lot of walking, is I happen to like walking. It's sort of mm-hmm. a meditative thing for me. Right. So I've got my music. Nobody's bothering me. I'm yes. out, you know, and I happen to live <laughs> in a neighborhood that people aren't shooting at you and stuff like that. So, uh, again, <laughs> it's a form of meditation. I mean, it is. you yep. can actually get lost in it. Really, you, people talk about runner's high and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. They, they keep, that's why they keep doing it, because mm-hmm. they really like it. I mean, there are other things I can do that I like, but that's usually not healthy for me. So sitting on my butt and watching TV for three hours, you know, do that. <laughs> not so good for you, no, right? Not so good for me. It's amazing. With the, I mean, <laughs> I have people that they love washing cars. They love mowing their lawns. I mean, there's there's things out there that you can do that you if you really enjoy it, that's what you want to do. My mother-in-law loved to garden, so she'd be out there always doing all the plants and stuff yeah. like that. So that's really key because as you go through and do these types of things, that's what's going to help us with this micro and macronutrient test because it's going to really help us define how we can support your body, how we can make sure that we're taking the right steps in your health plan. So tell me a little bit about some of the different tests. And now, one of the questions that I always had is, if you take this test today, you got to take it every year. Like doctors want you to take this test every year, the CBC <laughs> and so on. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how, do the, how does those tests work? So let's talk about uh, the Spectrox. The Spectrox. So Spectrox is talking about... Uh, the antioxidation system in the body. It looks at very specific antioxidant components in the body, like glutathione and those types of things, and it establishes what the level of operation is in your body. Now, how is that important to you? Well, antioxidation is something that is very important because everything you do, whether it's breathing, eating, drinking, oxidative stress starts to come into the play, your toxins are going to be in place, this is, this is a system that helps clean that out of the body, so it's very critical to make sure that when, you, when you're looking at health, this is something that's functioning properly because this is cleaning the house, so to speak. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, people don't understand maybe about the antioxidant thing, but if your antioxidant system is really strong, yes, you're less likely to get cancer and a whole yes. bunch of other things. Okay. Yeah, cancer. Yeah. And even you know, you're even. You could drink more alcohol, believe it or not. If you're <laughs> <laughs> so. Not I that I drink yeah, a lot. I wouldn't suggest that, but I don't drink a lot. But you know, you, you know, and you're also you know with a strong antioxidant system. You know, some of the other common things like the colds right. and the crunch right. and all the all things, things that we get. All those things are diminished. Yes. You know, if you might get them, you might not get them as well. So we have about a minute left before we hit the uh, halfway point and we have to go for a, you know, a commercial break, if you will. Yes. Would you tell us a little bit about what the tip of the day is going to be? You know, we're going to talk about the tip of the day when we come back, and it's going to talk about what we're talking about. What is the best source for vitamins? What is the best source for vitamins? So. Give us a 60 second break here and we'll be right back and we'll be giving you the answer to that tip of the day. Hi, it's Dr. John Thomas again from Vibrant Life Health Center. We're talking about a tool that's going to benefit you today. A lot of people come into the office with chronic neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, sciatic pain, and they're wondering what is the real problem. This tool that we call the Titron can identify where those problems really are in your body without any inaccuracy. So it gives us a really good opportunity to identify specifically what we need to do chiropractically to take care of your issues so we can lead to resolution. Whether that be a headache issue, whether it be a chronic shoulder problem, a neck problem, and through this process of using the Titron, we can identify specifically how our care is gonna be focused on those issues to address what you have specifically. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to question where your issues are. And we can do this because we have a special running right now where you can come in and have a a Titron scan at no charge here at Vibrant Life Health Center. Okay, we're back. Yes. 
we're going to get to the tip of the day. Yes. And we're going to talk. You just said a minute ago, it's, you know, how do you choose the best supplement? How do you choose the best supplement? Where does the best source of vitamins come from? And there's some key things to look at here. I always tell all my patients, most importantly, if you're going to get vitamins and minerals from anything, right. get them from the vegetables and the fruits. Right. Make sure that you're eating very, very, you know, uh, you know plenty of fruits and plenty vegetables. Of vegetables. It comes from the ground. It's grown in minerals and in, in, in vitamins. Right. It's a, the best Generally source. organic fruits and vegetables also, I would tell yes. you. Yes, yep. You know, or local, the, yeah. you know, something that's grown local right. that's really well taken care of. Or in your yard. Yes, you that's yourself. even better yet. Yeah, yeah, you know better. exactly where it came right. from, right? <laughs> you know what's on it and all and that And so you have that. If you're going to go to a supplement, you want to make sure that it's coming from plant sources. You want to make sure you know that it doesn't have any preservatives or recipients, as they call them. Recipients can be like the magnesium stearates and things right, like the, that. The fillers and the all fillers, that kind of stuff. Because those are actually neurotoxins. Right. And so you want to make sure you got to make sure you know what you know when you're putting. And there's really a lot of brand name products out there that have all this junk in it. Yes. Most people don't realize. It. I know you're a big advocate of Ju Juice Plus. You and I your family a, use that. Yes. And I know uh, Carl uses it here at the office. Yep. Um, I, I pick individual stuff a lot because, again, I've been through in this for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm a big advocate of Juke Plus. I've, I've yes. researched their product. It's really, really top of the line stuff. And, it is. And one of the things that I thought was really cool because I saw your show that, that you did with, um, I forget her name here. With uh, Celine, yeah. Celine. But yes. she says that if a parent is getting the product, they child have a child it. can get it for free. Yes, yes. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I mean, yeah. because essentially for the investment, you're yeah. you're taking care of yourself and yeah. your family. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's a great source, and because that, that goes right back to what we're talking about: get it from the vegetables and the fruits, and that's yeah. juice plus it. And here, as as you get older, you know, people don't absorb their food as well. Yep. So one of the things you can do is you get you a Nutra Bullet or some kind of machine that you can put your salad and vegetables and fruits in there, and you make yeah. a smoothie out of it, and you get and you'll absorb it much better. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You can. There's a lot of things. You know, a lot of people. Some people have a hard time with the roughage, and if you actually put it down in the in the bullet and you're you're grinding that up. And again, if you're way. not, if you're getting a lot of gas, maybe you need to have some probiotics or something yes. like that, or maybe some dumb digestive enzymes. I've been actually consuming digestive en enzymes with my food. Yeah, probably ten years. Oh, it's, it's, and I it's found that it made a huge difference in any discomfort. I don't get any discomfort now. Right. I mean, but I used to get it because right. I wasn't digesting stuff well. Exactly. So, so that's huge. And again, that has to do with you know the antioxidant functions and all that other kind of yes. stuff. Yes. Um, so I know we got to keep going here. We want to talk about uh, the immune index. The is immune that? index report. So when we take a look at the immune index of the reports. What we're looking at is how is your immune system functioning? And again, it's going to look at the specific components that help build up the immune system, you know, the vitamin C's and those types of things. And it's going to correlate that and it's going to score it. And then we'll have a score of what your immune system is doing. And we can identify where are the weaknesses. You know, do you have a huge vitamin D deficiency? You know, so again, we take a look at the system and we identify the component parts of it, the working parts of it, and we can identify specifically where you are weak at this. So where do you have weak links in the chain, right. is what we like to say. And we identify those weak links and then we strengthen those so that going forward we can make sure that you have an immune system. And at this time in, in place in the world, immune system activity is critical. Because right. right. we're we coming have, into the fourth quarter when it starts getting cold here yes. in Florida and so on. And people start getting more colds and flus, yes. and then you got Zika and all this other kind of crazy stuff. Going you got on a here. lot of things happening. We got, <laughs> you know, we always say you have more toxins and challenges to your health now than we have ever had before, right. and uh, so we want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to get your system, and that's you know the immune system is a, comp a completely critical component. And uh, I know that you know you do have supplements there, like if they have acute illness, what if they get a flu or cold. yes you know like nuclear immune is one of the ones nuclear immune need. yeah and i i use that product it's pretty cool and one of the things i noticed and it has noni in it and i've been consuming noni for yes. a really really long time yes but it's got a whole bunch of things in there so it's a product that you can use for these acute things to bump up your immune system yes um, but i would also tell people that again what you want to do is keep your immune system not in a real high place but i mean up so that it's revved good, so that yes. you're less likely to get sick. Mm -hmm. That's and that's the key. You know, prevention. We always say an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure. Right. And if you can identify specific how your system is working, what are some of the weaknesses, and take care of those weaknesses. It's not that we're going to keep you up to where you're at an optimum level and you burn out. That's right. not the idea. Right. But the idea is to get you to an optimum level of operation, so that when something comes and challenges your body, your immune system is right on the money. It right. gets right in there. It takes care of the business and makes sure that you know. 
what we're talking about is we're not ever going to say anybody's never going to get sick. Right. But when you do get sick, you know, it's the difference between having a cold for three weeks or having a cold for four or five days. Right. You know, that's the huge thing is let's get it down to where it's two days. You know, that's the good I'll, thing. I'll, I'll give you a good example. I have some friends that they're, I would say that they're very athletic. And one of the things that they, I always tell them that they're doing wrong is because they're training for like a marathon. Or yes. And, and mm -hmm. Overtraining is a pretty common thing that they'll do. Oh, yes. And when you overtrain, you normally lower your immune system. Yes. Because your body's burning up too much fuel for doing other mm -hmm. things. Yes. And it doesn't have time to make stuff for your immune system. It does. That's <laughs> correct. You know, there's no rest and digest. That's healing. right. Yes. So what happens is they they do the marathon and then the next week they get sick for a month. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> because they burn the system down so right. far. And yes. I, again, if, if they do some of this testing, you could see whether they're doing that right or not. Exactly. And then they'll actually perform better in the marathon or the they swim will. or whatever it is, you know, the triathlon that they're doing. You know, you got to think the macro and micro testing we're talking about, it includes all these other tests that we're, we're talking about specifically here. It is the building blocks. It's the foundation for your health. And so when you go through, you know, we've, we've always been telling everybody, you know, that the, the food by, be by medicine. And that is where you're really going to make yeah. some changes because if you're in that situation when you're training that hard and when you're in that, the proper nutrition, knowing what deficiencies you have and making a plan to go forward will change dramatically your performance athletically, your recovery athletically, and make sure that you don't deplete the system so far that because there's a lot of people I know that are, that are very active and they want to do this run and then three weeks later they want to do this run right. and then they want two weeks later because like I said there's a season here right. in Florida there's a lot of different runs that come in right. here in the fall because it's cooler weather right. and uh, you don't want to do your first event and then be out for the rest of the year right. that's not what you want to have happen and I, again if, if you if you just burn the candle at both ends the likelihood of you having a yeah. problem is pretty high I mean again I there was a period that I walked like I want to say six months where every day I walked at least five miles. Mm -hmm. I stopped doing that. Now I walk usually about six days and then I'll take a day off. Yeah, rest. You yeah. know, that kind of thing. Uh, I doesn't mean I can't do it if I want to. But if I find that I, I sometimes I walk 15 miles right. in one day, not five. Yes. So any time that I do these, these bigger walks, I'll take a day off for sure. Oh, yeah. Because just to give the body a chance to rest and so on. And a lot of people don't do that. Now, these are the tests that we're talking about. We're talking about life and balance. So these tests are to help you improve your right. overall health and improve your overall life. Right. And by understanding what's going on, just your life will get better. You'll have more enjoyment in life because the reality is you can't enjoy life if you're sick. You I can't. Mean, you know, if you can't enjoy if you're in pain or any of these other things, you, right. it's out, out the tubes. You know, that's one of my favorite things to talk about is when we talk about health, health is not given. It's not, if you've got to right. chase it, you've got to go after it. Right. And how well your plan is made, how specific it is to you, is critical to the success of it. Right. And, uh, you know, I always tell everybody, if you do a generic thing, if you do a generic program, you're going to get generic results. Right. You don't want generic results. You want results that are specific to your needs. Yeah, I think that the whole problem stems from what I call the Prince Syndrome. When you're young and immortal, <laughs> you yes. can't do no wrong. I mean, you can do whatever the heck you want. You can oh, eat, yeah. Like you can burn son, the candle can, in three different directions. Right, you you're can good. eat two pizzas and all that <laughs> kind of stuff, and, and nothing seems to go bad. Now, the reality is when you're young, you do get sick. Yep. You rebound much faster, but you often get sick often. But yes. you don't pay attention to that because, again, you're young, and you could be mm -hmm. sick, and you get away with a lot of stuff unless you get really sick or something like that. So this kind of stuff, especially as you get older, when I say... For me, it was about when I hit 40. Mm -hmm. That's when I started really making this change. So it was about a little 25 years ago or something yeah. like that. Well, you know, when um, people are living their lives, they've got careers, they've got families, they're running to the, all the events that the kids are involved in. You know, they're burning their candle. Right. And for someone in that situation to get sick, it's detrimental. Right. Because it's detrimental to the whole family and so on. Right? So I would tell you that there's a couple more tests we want to get into before the show is out. So I know that my wife and I both have hormone tests done every year. So yes. we'll, we do it because it's part of our diabetic testing, you know, because we're not diabetic, but we want to make sure we don't get diabetes because both of our parents had diabetes. Okay. So we're doing the regular testing to make sure that that doesn't happen. But hormone testing is also important for anti-cancer stuff. I mean, oh, there's a whole yes. bunch of things. So tell us a little bit about the hormone test. You know, the hormone testing we do in the office is kind of twofold. 
We do a blood based testing, which is what somebody you're familiar with. You're doing that monitoring all the time. And blood based t- testing is a very good indicator. It gives us normal ranges. We can compare to it. We can see how the body's functioning with the hormones and those types of things. And that's actually what we call free or uh, bound hormones, is what they're called. Right. So when you're testing in the blood, it's all bound. We also incorporate another test that's called a saliva-based test, and that's where you're going to see your free bound. So, example, if you're taking a look at the estrogens in the body, you right. can identify there's three types. A lot of people don't know that. Right. And there's two types that are actually pretty dangerous for the body, and there's one that you really want to have there because it keeps the other two dangerous ones and at bay. just so in case you didn't know, guys, you can have estrogen in your body, and it's oh, not yes. a good thing to have It's not in a your good body. thing. <laughs> so when you take a look at that, we can start identifying. One is, you know, and again, it goes back to what we're talking about, how well your body body is managing this not necessarily what's there right. but how's it being managed because the difference between bound and free when it comes to hormones is a big difference when it comes to health and also what a real plan is to address those things and, if and you're losing weight and a whole bunch of other issues yes. like that I mean there's there that's a big deal another kind of testing that you do is steroid hormones and that kind of comes into that, that last what we were talking about with saliva when we take a look at those types of tests we can start to really see how your body's doing well why does your body produce steroid hormones? Well, we talked about inflammation. You know what I mean? And so if you have a very low situation of steroid hormones, inflammation is going to be a big battle for you because then it's going to create aches, pains. It's going to create a lot of issues health-wise that we can start to take a look and say, where are we really at here? What's well, going on? I, I would tell people that a lot of times people don't realize what you eat can determine whether your body can even make a lot of these hormones. So right. if we're eating the right foods, for example, uh, anti-inflammatory foods directly affect how your body produces what they call prostaglandins, and prostaglandins are proto-hormones yes. that actually help your body use and make and utilize other hormones. We want to talk about a little bit about peptide hormones. And, and peptide thyroid. hormones, those are kind of regulating hormones. They kind of kind of regulate the seed. They're kind of regulators. They Of all the hormones, it kind of says who's going to be in the show, what's going on, and so these are critical. And without that, you've got no organization, and then your body's going to be in a disarray of issues. So we really want to take a look at those and find out how those are functioning in the body and how balanced your body's running. And thyroid hormones, I've seen a lot of people take these thyroid tests because they, they think they're fat because their thyroid's not working right now. Yeah, hypothyroidism. Everybody hypothyroid. says, if I'm, if I'm overweight, my, hypo, my thyroid's not working. That's the key. But a lot of times, that's not the case. If you do the test, right. they, they find that that's not the problem. There's a whole other problem. There's all kinds of But the test things. is what showed them that. Right. Because a lot of times, people want to blame something, but they're blaming the wrong thing. And right. that's why they can't make progress. Exactly. Yeah. And so, and a lot of times, what they'll do is they will have, they'll be on a plan or a protocol because that was assumed and never tested. Right. And so what we got to do, like for instance, somebody, I've even had patients that said, well, my parents had thi- hypothyroidism, so I probably have it too, and they just went on a protocol for it. And I'm like, nah, that's not the case. Right, let's right. do some testing, and let's find out specifically what your problem is. You know, your mom's problem, that's another issue. But yours, we can find out. I'm, you a, know? I'm a big believer in testing. I mean, I know that in the arena that I'm in as a social media director and so on, we're always testing different kinds of things because we may have a belief but the belief could be totally wrong. And I don't know how many Absolutely. times I've found that I thought one thing would go one way and it ended up being a whole different thing altogether. Absolutely. So I know we got about two minutes left. I want to remind everybody that October, which we're in October now, is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yep. It's all month. It ain't going to go away for any month anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, it's Chiropractor, chiropractic Awareness Month. It's a national chiropractic awareness yes. month. So um, again, if you come down to the office, they're going to give you a free Titron scan. And that's really a totally non-invasive scan, but guess what? That scan really can show you a it lot can. of really, really useful things for pain, for things that why you're getting sniffles and you don't know why you're mm-hmm. getting sniffles, why you why that sinus problem can't exactly. go away. <laughs> Digestive problem, why yeah. I have shoulder pain all right. the time. I mean, there's there's a plethora of things that we can identify just from looking at that scan. very. And it's also you. a great scan because you can use it as a baseline and then you can understand why you're making improvements because you will literally see the differences right yes. away. So I know we got about a minute left. Um, next week's show is going to be uh, what are the trigger foods, the good, the bad, and the yummy. Yes. <laughs> we'll talk about those. It'll be fun. Um, Want to give them the, the phone number again? Yeah, actually, uh, call 904-683-8177. Uh, connect with the office. Let's get, you know, it, we have a plethora of opportunities for you to come in. The free Titron scan uh, is a great opportunity if you want to know more about the metatherm that we've mentioned at the beginning of the show, if you want to know more about how chiropractic can help you, or even if you want to do some weight loss and those types of things, the Nutrimost yeah. program that we have. We have a center for you to really transform your health 
and you have a lot of ways to plug in. So definitely call and that And the number. weight loss, by the way, is guaranteed. Yes. Guaranteed. I got it with guaranteed. <laughs> I lost 30 It pounds. has a guarantee. <laughs> it has a guarantee. <laughs> Until next time, guys, keep it life in balance. Keep your life in balance.